get that all prepped. And I'm gonna take both of these, see that? And I'm actually just gonna make a little painting palette right on my hand. And that's how I'm going to come in here and just form a nice face. Oh, I'm wearing my favorite new CC hat, but I'm gonna take it off for this, okay? Gotta love CC, right? So here we go. This is called contouring, actually. So you're gonna go and utilize the highs and low points on your face. It's very aesthetically pleasing to contour your face. And that goes back to algorithms in Fibonacci's numbers. And that Fibonacci was a famous um, mathematician. And he actually can prove why we find certain things in nature aesthetically pleasing. And it all has to do with Fibonacci's numbers. If you look into Leonardo da Vinci in the Renaissance, he utilized Fibonacci's numbers in all of his work. So remember the man, he's standing with his arms reached out and his legs wide open and there's a circle around him. That is explaining Fibonacci's theory of balance and what we find to be pleasing in that balance. This is why puppies are cute, with gigantic eyeballs. It's actually so their mothers don't reject them at birth. I know, kind of crazy, right? Thank goodness my son's eyeballs are gigantic. He's eight and he's a monster. Now we love him, he's so smart. We'll keep him. So here we go, we're just putting on a, ha a happy little base, you know, Bob Ross it. A happy little base. And you know what, a lot of makeup artists actually do eyeballs first. And that's totally fine. Because they can go back and do corrections underneath the eyes afterwards. And that's why they do the eyeballs first, so they can really get a nice, clean, crisp line underneath and around the eyeballs. But it's really up to you. I mean, you're in your own bathroom in the morning. You really don't have to take advice of unsolicited advice, I guess, from people if you don't want. You can do whatever you want first. You can sandwich it. You can layer it. Do whatever you want. Okay, so I have a nice, happy base here. Lovely. How are you doing? Good. We're doing a tutorial if you want to be involved. You're doing a what? Tutorial. Oh. Mm. I'm just okay, so I'm actually going to layer right now, and I'm going to hydrate my situation. It just nice and even evens out what's on your, your skin and kind of allows a, a mesh layer, if you will, to grab on to the next layer. So this is your hydration here. It's a nice pH balance for your skin, and it just allows for a nice, clean canvas. Ain't that bad. It smells delicious. We'll put you back. Okay. So, we have our base on. Then, I'm going to use my disappear that I told you about. Okay. With the green tea extract. And that just helps, I mean, the healing process as well. So, this has a nice little application. But I'm not going to use that because I'm doing a tutorial, so I'm going to use my palette on my hand. You can use it at home though, it's yours. Bring it home and it's yours. So that's this guy. And I'll show that. So while I'm working, you can see what it is. It's the disappear. And I have a little mountain of madness right there. We do everything we can, yet we still can't be perfect all the time. Well, I'm never perfect. I'm a hot mess all the time, so now you know my secret. Just own it. Just own the hot mess. Let your freak flag fly. Hey! So, I'm going to take that green tea, and I'm going to just make it do its job. Bye! Bye, Mountain of Madness.
because there's method to mine. Level. Oh, I'm looking bright and cheery already. Now, if you want a, an additional cheery glow, I recommend our Golden Shimmer. Very moisturizing at the same time. Very fun to play with in layers. Okay, and this is what you're going to contour your high points with. So if you want that sun-kissed touch of shimmer, take this. Let's put it on our palette. You know what? I'm going to take my botanical base just so I can have a nice clean canvas on my hand. Take your golden shimmer. Put it right at the top there. Mm, delightful. another one that's open. There you go, you can see that guy. Golden shimmer. Put it right over the top. And do a nice fun layering session. Now I have a nice breathable canvas to work with. Mm. And we can do that again too if you'd like. You can do whatever you want. That's what have the fun of it. It's very Bob Ross. Just make it your own. This is your Balance Hydration spray. spray. Again, just balancing out the pH of your canvas. Right over the top. Lovely. Mm, I love that one. It has a little citrus after aftertone to, thing to it, so it's very refreshing and awakening. I'm going to take my shimmer, and I'm just going to start contouring my high points. See what I'm doing there? And I'm still using my foundation brush to do that. Just a little apple pop here. You can even smile. Smile while you're doing it so you know exactly where you want to contour pop. Right at those high points. And a little bit underneath the eyeballs if you want to make those pop because they're shimmering. Okay. If you want there to be a little bit more depth in your eyeballs, Come right on your high points of your bone structure there. Okay. Mm, gorgeous. Am I ready for the sun? I'm SPF ready. I've got a golden glow shimmer. You know what? We can do a little more today if you'd like. If you want to stick with me a little longer, I'm going to just do my itty brow kit here. Everybody see that? Itty brow. Okay. And that's a fun little kit. It comes with everything you're going to need to make your brows perfect for that day. Don't get me wrong, we do need our waxing specialists and our estheticians, but this is just your everyday maintenance. That's it. Now I'm all brushed a little. Well, I call my husband, I call it manscaping on my husband. I don't even know how he grows hair out his face, but he can't on his head. It's the most bizarre phenomenon I've ever seen. But it's just a little scaping, if you will. And on a man, manscaping. So I just take the brush and we follow the follicle of the hairline. And we just kind of... And this, I would say, this is your color palette. It's just a powder. And I want to say this is about a level 8 or 7. Could be in between when it comes to the depth of the color. I'm a hairstylist by nature, so I go with the color line, and that's the depth of the color. Is That's a blonde level 7, 8. And so just follow the follicle the hairline there just make nice little dashes up 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 and it's very important that you make those noises too just makes the whole thing look it's technical smooshy Well, there that is, my brows are done. We can do a little bit of rouge, if you will. 
you really want to make those cheeks pop. We definitely did the golden glow, which was super fun, and that's going to make the whole thing, but I'm going to just take a palette like this. I have a lot of red in my skin, so I'm going to go with that. If you don't, if you are more of those those beautiful Tahitian beauty types. This has a lot more yellow in it. That's fun. But I'm gonna go with the red one because I'm me and there's nothing to change about it, so might as well go with it. I'm gonna take this guy. He's fun. Okay. And this is called a blending brush. And I just kind of do a blending brush right in there. Tap it out and blend it all together. Right on those high points again. Okay. And what's cool about blending brushes is just with a flick of a wrist and just the pressure that you apply with your hand, you can really make different effects on your face. So if you want a stronger situation, apply more pressure. If you want to blend more, release the pressure. And I like to come down here. It's nice putting everything together. I'll even go up here, because guess what? That's the sun too, so let's enhance it. And then this, ladies, is always an important part. Let me move my necklaces here. This one. But um, this is called your decollete. And you never want to forget your decollete when it comes to applying makeup. Blend it all together. Your decollete. Okay, now that final piece that I wanted to show you was the longest lash. Like I said, please give us feedback and let us know if you like it so we can carry it for you if you want. A tutorial. This is your longest lash, and this is black ice, so that's the color of it. Great. So it's going to enhance the longest lash. So I'm going to go in. And I recommend you taking, I mean, once it's yours, it's yours. So use the brush as you will, but because it's not mine. Take that guy out. Yes, I was doing my decollete. Oh. And then you take a disposable brush, go in, okay, and you're going to just kind of, one application, because you don't want to contaminate, okay, and go in, and here we go, and I have no liner on or anything today, so we'll just see that longest lash do its job, okay? Can you see what I'm doing there? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Gorgeous. Remember, one application each time. You don't want to contaminate, so get yourself another disposable brush. So that's the longest lash. This I have no eyeliner on or anything today, but it really did make a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom yeah. lashes too, just to see the effect. That's nice. Okay, and you don't have to if you don't want to. It's all up to you and personal preference. And what you find aesthetically pleasing. And there we go. So this is Jean Iredell's at Studio Fi Reno. You can find the whole line here. Like I said, this guy is new, so let us know how you like it. I love it, so let me know. <laughs>